Hello, we're here with Romano Prodi. Romano, how important was the original declaration and how relevant is it today? Well, the declaration, it was something concerning uh, the immediate need of after war period, but it was, uh, let's say, a, a song of hope. And this is what is lacking today. You know, we are, we are advanced, we made a fantastic progress. Uh, Europe is clearly giving a lot of advantage, but uh, there is no hope for a progress in the future. This is my worry, you know, it's uh, solidarity is in this moment is absent. And what's the best we can do now without such causes for optimism? Uh, uh, make uh, strong, uh, innovative political proposals. Political proposals, not technical, you know. We think that uh, the new Europe can be founded on 3% or these uh, things, you know. Well, you will always uh, be in disagreement on these points, you know. Uh, we need a strong political renewal. Would you say that the language, the political language in Europe at the moment is uninspiring? Yes, this is what I mean, you know, in the sense that how can you attract young guys telling, look, uh, budget in order, okay, we must have it, but you must add some something new, you know, uh, what is that? Foreign policy, solidarity, transformation of the society, uh, in, uh, innovative role in the world, uh, you know, imagination, otherwise you, you, you don't fight for 3%. When the Schumann Declaration was written, it was a reaction to World War II, and the idea was to make sure it could never happen again. And a lot of people bought into that, but today, I don't think anybody's really scared of World War Three within Europe. Uh, well, this is, but this is why we need we need new goals because when I when I when I go to talk about Europe to, to, to the young generation, and I talk about peace, nobody listen to me, because peace is granted, is given for granted. It's not true, but it's given for granted, and so it's not enough as a message in this moment. Uh, I say, look, uh, look at. Uh, Yugoslavia, uh, what happened, look outside Europe, what are the war, but uh, this is far away message. We need to say, look, now we do, we have a common energy policy, a common research policy, we challenge China and the United States in this field, uh, in this you aggregate pe people. Romano Purdy, thank you very much. Thank you.